I was scrolling through the ads on Craigslist when I came across a disturbing one. The ad said, parachute for sale, only used once, stained slightly. My pets hate it when I close my bedroom door and they always scratch at it until I open it again. It used to be cute, but now that I don't have any pets, it's just terrifying when I hear the scratching at my door. Mommy, there's a monster underneath my bed. The little boy screamed all night long. I locked my door and hid away all night long because I don't have any children. I can't fit into this box, I yelled out. No, you don't, my kidnapper said as they reached for the handsaw. But I can make you fit. I'll be back. That's not what I wanted to hear from my Uber driver as he dropped me off at my house at two in the morning. The sound of laughter echoes out as the children run up and down the hallways outside my bedroom. The only problem is that I live alone. The new house I've bought was really cheap since the previous owners were brutally murdered in their sleep. It's a shame I woke the children up when I broke in through the window that night, but I've made the most of it. Yes, mom, I cried when I heard my mom call out to me from downstairs. When she didn't reply, I stood up to go find her, but then I saw my phone light up with a message from her. I'm running a bit late, but I'll be home soon. I thought having all my money stolen would be the worst thing the identity thief could do to me. As I stood by the window and watched him eat dinner with my family, I knew I was wrong. I always turn the lights off and close the door when I leave my bathroom. My reflection hasn't noticed yet, but I know it stares at the back of my head when I turn to walk away.